Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Road to Rank 1 and 1v1. I believe this is episode 11 so far. We're sitting at rank 34 on the leaderboard. Hopefully, we can push back into the top 25 like we did in the last few videos. Just that we haven't played 1v1 very much. Hasn't really been my focus on this channel just because I've been doing so much more content. I hope you guys enjoyed the new Pyramid Twin Peaks video from yesterday. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go watch it. It was a lot of fun. Or you're jumping into some more games. And uh, like I said, I do a lot of these on Twitch. I'm trying to do more as much as I can in 1v1. It's just that it's not my main focus, like I said. So I'm trying to do more to help you guys understand how to play 1v1 at a high level. Uh, but let's get right into these games, see how they go. Hopefully, we can get some wins. Oh, what a shot. There we go. And before we do get into these matches, I'd just like to announce formally that we actually have the Euro Cup 10k finally happening. This is my 10k tournament that's sponsored by Psyonix. Uh, the registration is now open for you guys and it's open until the 8th of June. So this is for European and Middle Eastern players that are free to sign up for their teams. It doesn't have to be country based, it's all about the entire region. How this tournament works is basically four auto qualified teams that have been invited and then four teams that qualify through the two qualifiers. So make sure you sign up for one of the qualifiers, it's only 64 teams allowed in each one. Best of luck and I'll see you guys on the pitch. Alright, we've got a pretty good opponent here, we got Jay. This could be a really tight game. This is a... Uh, J Russ. It's a good save. Let's see if I can stay close here. I don't want to lose the boost or the positioning. I might have lost it here though. Did he miss? No, he's got to finish. That's pretty aggressive of me with zero boost. Probably shouldn't be challenging in the corner. Just fake it and move backwards. All right, keep my speed. A little too high for him. He's not going to challenge this. Kind of bump him here. Should be an open goal. Let's wait for him to challenge. There we go. Get the opening. Just fake the uh, the pressure on the ball and then move back and let him 50 into me. It's pretty smart. There we go. Get possession in the corner. Should be all right. Let's see if I backs off here. Oh, that's good defense. I'm pretty low here. It's pretty dangerous. Hit that pretty hard off the backboard, so you have to chip it in early. We oh, missed it. Probably should have expected that actually. It's pretty difficult for him to catch that. Let's see if he just pinches it away. Make it awkward for him to save properly. Put it around him. He's pretty low boost. Gonna bump me maybe. Put it across for boost. I don't need to try and pressure that shot. Still pretty low here. Pretty awkward for him. There we go. Yeah, sorry. These games are getting pretty intense, so I'm probably not going to be talking as much as I usually do in these 1v1 games. That's sort of why I've slowed down the the, the videos as well on this, because I don't know if it's as interesting for you guys if I'm just, like, straight focusing. You have to basically think about every little movement you make at this level. So I just... I don't know what he's doing. I will take it, though. Um, at these kind of levels, like, you need to be, like, right on top of every movement you make. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's not lagging or anything. He just kind of left. Hopefully he's back. He's back. Oh, no. Oh, that's a good play. I should have just forced a 50-50 there, actually. He was in a pretty bad situation. I probably shouldn't just leave the ball like that. I held on to a good amount of boost. There we go. If he goes for boost, I could probably score this. It's not fast enough. He's going to have a save. To be right. Should I take the boost out the wall? I'm going to fake the ball here. Pop it up on, on the wall here. There we go. Should be open. Just make sure I get a good challenge. He's really staying on the ball pretty aggressively, but I'm reading him pretty well. I'm just going to stay on the... Same kind of attack. 
There we go. Slow it down. I saw him go a little bit too slow there. Pop it over him. Focus on the boost. Bring it back. Sorry, I threw it pretty far. Oh, that was a bad challenge by me. Pop it over him. He's going to bump me here, so I'm just going to avoid him. Chip it around. Get the boost. Going to go for the demo, maybe. Put it behind him, so it's very awkward. Oh, he missed the ball. Oh my god, we'll take that. I did not expect that to be a goal. I just tried to keep pressure so I can get mid boost, but he ended up missing the catch. It's pretty awkward for him, I guess. There we go. Let's get a good, nice finish. See, I don't really do a fast kickoff. I kind of do a middle ground where it's not good. The fast kickoffs that they do aren't going to affect me uh, negatively as long as I approach it the right, the right way. I don't think fast kickoffs are really that important. Waste a lot of boost there. Should be alright. Just gonna pop it in corner here. He has the boost in the ball. Just gonna try and stay stay relevant. And boost down to the ground again. Pop it over. Oh, I missed. It's a good turn by him. Try to get the boost from that touch. Touch though. Oh, get off my bum. That's a good pinch. Holy. Is that in? That is in, too. That's a really good play. I probably should have just went for the ball right away instead of chasing for that boost. If that pinch was any slower, though, I could have probably defended it. I just didn't account for such a fast attack. Should give us some time. Push it right away to the ball. I think it's really awkward for him to catch properly. There we go. Just make it really awkward for him. He's pretty low. Just pop this to the wall. Get the boost. I don't know why I did, just did that. Should be alright. Make it really awkward to pop. Take the boost again. That's a bad clear. If he gets a good catch, that could be really bad for me. Right turn in right away. That last touch popped the ball a little bit too far away from his car. I'm going to grab the boost. Just play smart here. There we go. Just a little chip around. Should be a finish. He attacked me pretty pretty aggressively on the on the corner post there. There we go. This is the first match. Not too bad. So he was, I think, 15-37. We ended up getting 10 points. We're at 15-23. So pretty good first game. Oh, once again, it's one of those weird things where, like, we're at 15-13, but for some reason we get 15-22. I'm not sure why that happens, but whatever. All right, we've got Rapid. Pretty good 1v1 player. Let's push up the leaderboard quick far. Should we be able to stay with this ball, though? Got back pretty quickly. He's pretty low here, so just pop the ball to me. Pop it towards net. Make him have to clear it. He still has zero boost. I'm just gonna let, like, I let him fake into the corner. Oh, that's close. Did I just get that corner. I did. I know he doesn't have that corner boost, so I can confidently go for that shot. I got really lucky with that turn, though. I like literally turn it on the boost and stole it. There we go. Pretty good kickoff. Nice little fake. Just changing it up to try and make it really confusing for him. Get a solid kickoff. He's watching it too. So with him watching it, I'm watching that he's trying to adapt. And then in doing so, I'm actually changing it up again. Do all right. Should I stay with this in the corner? Get this mid boost. Get the challenge right away. It's being really aggressive on the turns. To be over him, yeah. 
Those those little quick like flicks are really hard to read. You can really outplay an opponent really close. I see that he wants a challenge or like shadow backwards. So I, instead I just go fast on the flick. It's fine. If he touches this early, I can just get a challenge. Should be right. Try to get higher on it. I knew he was going to try and 50 or go above me. So if I just go high on that, he could probably get like a pretty good chip. But at the same time, I could just go back in shadow since I have 100 boost. Either one. It's a good fake by him. Probably turn it into the corner and get some boost. There we go. Nice little defense at the end here. Oh. See what he does here. I'm going to get some pads. He actually gave me 36 boost, which is actually really good. That's really dumb of me. He actually missed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pretty dumb of me. He missed again. That's okay. I'm just going to... Hopefully stay close to the ball here. Should be open. Yeah. I don't know how he didn't score on me. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea how that it, what, didn't end up in a goal. It's a little bit confusing, but we will take it. Pretty good lead so far. Really solid kickoffs. Make it really awkward for him to save. Not gonna be scorable yet. Just gonna keep taking the boost, maybe get him on the demo here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what a shot. There we go. That was really smart. So I got the demo and then I just tried to chip it around the, the net as fast as possible and get the late flip. That way I can angle towards the goal. I think he thought he saved it. The server didn't really uh, agree with us there. To be a pretty fast recovery. So I'm just gonna stay close on this. If he tries to chip it hard, I can go right on the ball. Stay with the ball again. Over his head, just turn on it quick. It's pretty far out of the game, and there we go. Pretty quick match. So hopefully we get, yeah, we got nine points. So either at 1530 <laughs> or 1531, we'll see what we're at. Watch it be 1532 somehow and completely destroy my, my logic. Oh, 1531. Okay, perfect. We got a really quick queue. We got Rapid once again. So this will be probably be the last game of the video. Win or loss, obviously. Um, right with how we played. Just bump him off here. Pretty low. Just gonna get a touch to the corner here. Boost isn't gonna spawn in time. I gave him a little bit too much room. I try to get the pinch. I don't know why I pre-jumped that. It's honestly like so far away from the net. There's no reason to pre-jump. You're putting yourself in such a bad position because you give the opponent uh, less options to cover on your play. He's still pretty low, so I can turn on this pretty pretty aggressively. If he turns on this right away, it's all right. He's pretty low. It's a good challenge. Could be a goal too. So he's being a little more aggressive on his challenges. Got to recognize that and change it up. Just pop it immediately. Get a flick. He's probably going to jump on it. It's fine. Pop it up. Pop it across. I'm gonna keep close to it though. Should be alright. He's gonna touch it to the wall and then go. It's a good pinch. I probably shouldn't go for those challenges like I said before. I'm gonna stay with this. Should be alright. I don't know why I didn't just go for the boost. I knew he was gonna push it that way. Playing pretty poorly so far this game. 
Oh man, that's not a good 50 either. So yeah, it's once again just... I'm playing to him instead of myself, which is really dumb. Uh, you can see how like last game worked a lot better when I just played to myself. That's not a good kickoff again. Yeah, it's pretty poor. So hopefully we can bring it back in the next half. But once once one v one players like that know what they're doing, have a lead, it's pretty easy to hold on to it. Especially when I don't shoot. That's unfortunate. He's gonna probably just stay with it. He's pretty low. To be alright to shoot. It's a good save. He's just staying with the ball, it's fine. It's not gonna be a target on target here. Should be a shot for me. I'm gonna shoot it. There we go. Staying very, very aggressive. Could use it to her advantage, hopefully to bring the, the comeback, but we'll see what happens. It's a good start. It's a pretty bad play by me. Should I get the boost from him though? Maybe the demo. Oh. It's very aggressive by him. Could be good for us. Should we to get the kill? Should give us lots of time. I have 60 boost. So I don't need to go for the corner right now. I want to bring it in as fast as possible. Okay, yeah, that was very obvious. So once again, just taking his aggression, using it to our advantage. We can see if we can get with two more goals. The fact that we missed that boost, that one pad is not good. Be able to pinch this off the goal here. We're gonna be pretty low. It's pretty dumb by me to go in with 20 boost like that and just chip it in. It's really, really aggressive for no reason. Try to bait in the, the high pop at the start. Try to get a free goal, but I'm just gonna end up putting myself in a really bad position. So we can come back here. Pretty bad pop. Oh. It's good control by him. He's going to hold on to the ball here. There we go. So we uh, turn in, hopefully. Ball is close. I'm not going to land properly here, too. It's pretty rough. Rough. Oh, he could turn this back in, probably. That works, I guess. There we go. It's a nice little chip. Doesn't expect the early change up. So we could have been three to four here, but my foolishness put me in a really stupid position. And uh, now we're down two goals. So hopefully in this last minute, we can bring it back. I missed the goal, but he tried to rush it, so. And I'm dead. So hopefully we spawn in enough time, but we probably won't. We saved it, but we're very low boost. It's a pretty dumb challenge by me once again. Oh! Tried to go for it. He had the free goal anyway, so. It makes sense for him to fake that. A fast kick off that once again those don't really result in too much if you can go fast enough on the recovery try to bump him and ended up bumping me but it's a good fake to so stay with the boost so overall we do have more goals than him in the the, the total of the two games but of course it won't matter if the one game that you get the more goals it's like a blowout Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be the game. Oh well, we got the loss here, but that's like the first loss we've had in maybe uh, eight episodes. Not too bad. So we got Quello, or Quell. I don't really know what this guy's name is. We played him in the last episode. Pretty good player. 
I thought we'd do one more just because we did lose that game, but it was more for my own mistakes rather than the outplays. All right, he's leaving the net, which is just a free goal for me. I'm not sure why he went that way. Yeah, last game, basically, all I did was just outplay myself. It was pretty stupid. Like, most of the time, I was just picking up the speed when I didn't need to. Uh, usually, that happens when I'm down goals. Usually, when I have the lead, I play a little bit smarter. Don't need to rush things. Because the whole five minutes of a game, you have so much time to find those opportunities. But for some reason, our human brains want to uh, want to tell us that we need to rush things when we're down. It's just naturally what happens. It's going to be too high. It's a good catch off the, the crossbar though. If that went like back post and out or back board and out, it would have been way better for us. It's a good flick though. He's going to pop it. He's, he's at very low boost. He's going to leave the ball here. To be fast enough he turned a little bit too wide i can see that last moment where he turned where i can just take a shot it's way for him to make that like last second decision and then i just chip it early it's just fast enough that he doesn't understand when the shot's coming taking that ball off target though is really good oh that's a really slow kick off by me he's gonna get a free goal taking the ball off target is what causes people to draw themselves out of the line if you just go towards net they can just sit in between you and the net very easy for them to uh, uh, take advantage. Oh. Oh, man, he's there, too. Gonna get a goal out of it, too. That's unfortunate. He actually got back in time. I should have just uh, backflipped into the ball. I didn't see his recovery behind me. It's too focused on the ball, pinching behind me. It's a pretty unfortunate set of events here. We got a, a weird pinch and then a bad kickoff again, the 50-50s. I think I'm going too far wide on the 50s in the, the corners. There we go. It's first 50-50 first that went well for me the last few kickoffs. Don't forget, we're down a few goals, but it's not too bad. We're back to one deficit. There we go. Surprised he's staying with this. Yeah, I'm really surprised he stayed with that. He's super low boost. He's basically in no man's land. I can just pop it over him. So this touch right here just keeps it close enough to me that it's awkward behind him. And then I just take a shot because he's got maybe 20 boost. Yeah, I knew he was going to go fast. I ended up just like completely abandoning the, uh, the kickoff. Why'd I go for that? He missed. Got the boost from him. I'm surprised he didn't just shoot that. It's pretty far out of the play from that challenge. Oh! Look at that. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go over here where he shoots it to and then just take a shot back. Doesn't even matter if it's off post because I can turn this back in. Hopefully. There we go. He's so far out of the play. So in that situation, all I want to do is just get it past him. I don't really care about the shot. Even if he gets past, it gets past him, it goes to the corner, and then I've still got possession. He's trying to take advantage of the fast kickoff, but it's not going to work. Let's see his flick defense. That was a pretty bad touch. I probably could have scored it. Oh, he missed. He went right away. This is such bad play by both of us. Oh my god. Lots of time to work with. He's going for the boost. Just going to boom it upwards. It's a good catch by him. So hit that a little bit too far. Going to stay with this in the corner. Wait till he backs off for defense. A little bit too far out of the play. He went too far in the corner. He was able to just make a quick chip. Those little, like I said, those little chips out of, way, out of the way of the net lets you regain speed uh, and change up 
Uh, you're positioning on the wall. I hit this backwards. He's going towards me, so. Interesting by him. We'll take those. Very, very aggressive. We just pop the ball over him or make a 50-50. Regardless, it's going to go in our favor, so. That late touch pops it over his head. Alright, we take those. Doesn't even matter if he bumps us because we can just get back on the ball. Trying to start an aerial. I don't know what he's trying to do. Start an air dribble or something, but he popped the ball way too close to the ground. I think it hit the ceiling. I can't remember, but at that point, you got to abandon the, uh, the air dribble and try to salvage your touch. Should be alright. It's a good touch, though. Should be a finish for him. Let's give me a pinch. I couldn't really get it out of the net at that point. That's way too aggressive for me. It's a good first touch by him. I was going to try and demo him, but then the, the ball got too far away from me, so. That was such a bad touch. Take the corner boost, avoid the demo. Oh, that's unlucky. I tried to get the demo on him. I should have just waited for him to flick it and then drive into where his car is. It's pretty stupid by me, once again. Very careless. That's what happens when I don't play 1v1 for a long time. It's actually harder to shoot than you think. I mean, you guys probably know. There we go. Make sure I double jump on that. I see that he just wants to stay on the ball 24-7 right now, which is fine. Works for us because he's just going to go early like that. All I got to do is just beat him. Even when he's out of position. There we go. Just put it far post. Nice and controlled. So I'm a little upset that I outplayed myself in that one game that we lost, but pretty happy with how we're playing so far after that. Just level my head. I really don't like when I start to just overcommit on things that I really shouldn't be. Uh, it only really happens in 1v1 because in 3v3 I just keep myself confident and, you know, do my thing. Oh, I try to get that. That late touch. There we go, just get a 50. Once again, just drawing out the time here. I'm just going to stay close, be annoying. There we go, stay with the ball. Should be pretty much over. <laughs> Holy. So that'll be a goal back for him, but I'm not too worried. We got. Okay, you got the goal. <laughs> wow. I didn't think you would miss that last touch, but there we go. There's four games, so I actually did one more game than I usually do. But I really wanted to bring some points back. We're at 15-28. See, we're on the leaderboard. All right, so it hasn't updated, but we are at rank 25, I believe, or 24. Could be 23 if, uh, you know, how it works on alphabetical, but uh, pretty happy with how we're playing. Uh, I really wish I didn't lose that one game, though, just because uh, I really should have thought a little bit more about what I was doing, especially when I was down goals at the start with a few unfortunate situations. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing more of these on my Twitch streams. I try to do more of these videos in the future, but like I said, I've got so much different content, unique stuff that I want to do on my channel uh, and bring you guys more community uh, maps and stuff like that. So just keeping the workflow going. Hope you guys enjoy the daily videos. If you do enjoy the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, I really would greatly appreciate it. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.